And first at five, a Mercer County school teacher is behind bars tonight, accused of having a sexual relationship with a former student. Good evening, I'm Katie Eusen. And I'm Mark Allen. Officials say the victim was just 16 years of age when the abuse began. Megan O'Rourke spent the day at Fort Recovery, walks us through the investigation to this point in our top story at five. The sheriff tells me this relationship had been going on for the last three years, but finally came to light on Monday when the victim and her mother came here to the sheriff's office to report the crimes. Investigators say the illegal relationship between the former student and accounting teacher, 32 year old Christopher Summers, started here in the halls of Fort Recovery High School. I think, at least in the victim's eyes, a popular teacher. Mercer County Sheriff Jeff Gray tells me the victim was 16 when the relationship began and has continued over the last three years. The victim kept it a secret until recently when she decided she wanted out. Gray says that's when Summer started sending texts threatening to tell her family and her boyfriend, doing anything he could to keep her quiet. Even threats of, you know, if she didn't come and see him, he would kill himself and, and things like that. And, you know, that's a lot of pressure on a young person um, to, to think that, geez, if I don't do something, somebody's going to lose their life. The sheriff says the victim finally confided in her mom, and together they came to report the crimes. On Tuesday, Gray says his deputies went to the St. Henry home Summer shares with his wife and children and placed him under arrest on one count of sexual battery. However, the investigation is ongoing and more charges could still be filed. Fort Recovery Superintendent Shelley Vaughn declined my request for an interview, but sent this email response saying Mr. Summers is now on administrative leave. I also talked to folks in Fort Recovery, but again, no one was willing to go on camera. It's really hard for a small community like Fort Recovery. The sheriff says it's not too surprising given the circumstances and this tight knit community. So to have something like this happen um, is tragic. Um, it's frustrating. Um, we're going to go after teachers that do that. In the meantime, Summers remains behind bars here in Mercer County. Of course, we'll keep you posted on any new developments in the case. For now, reporting in Salina, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News.